friends and subscribers. In 1986, The Economist magazine began publishing what's called the Big Mac Index. And the index, basically in a nutshell, is a measure of the cost of a Big Mac sandwich in the major countries around the world. And among other things, what it does is it measures the standard of living and cost of living in other countries based on uh, a measurement of one good, which is a Big Mac sandwich, which is the same size and weight in every country that it's sold in. It's one of the only sandwiches, I believe, on the menu of McDonald's that is a standardized size and weight. So let's go in and find out how much the Big Mac sandwich costs in 2012. We're now in December 2012, going into 2013, and we'll see how the Big Mac index has changed. One thing we notice about the Big Mac is that it's not actually listed on the board in price per sandwich. It's listed in combo price. December 2012, the combo price of a Big Mac combo is 26 yuan. Let's see when we get the menu how much the sandwich itself is cost. It's actually 16, 16 RMB just for the sandwich and 26 RMB for the combo. So that's 16 RMB for the sandwich itself and looks similar. The package is a little different. It's got all of the uh, unhealthy qualities of a Big Mac in the West. Same amount of fat, calories, and all the ingredients are the same, basically. So, you can see that Big Mac is unchanged in every country that it's issued in. And the highest cost for the Big Mac and the Big Mac Index has usually been Switzerland. And that's the case, again, Switzerland... Sweden, Denmark, I believe, are atop the list. Okay, so how is the Big Mac index calculated exactly? Well, it's calculated by dividing the price of a Big Mac in one country in its local currency by the price of a Big Mac in another country by its local currency. Okay, so you compare the value with the current exchange rate, and then you can find out exactly uh, which country has uh, the better uh, value on a Big Mac and therefore which country has more buying power in their local currency and has a higher standard of living. The Big Mac index suggests that uh, emerging markets are significantly undervalued overall, but it's also, it is a good gauge, like I said, of um, how well you can get along in a country for your labor. A nice alternative way to judge the Big Mac index is by creating an alternate alternative Big Mac index by looking at the average amount of time a worker in a given country must work to buy a Big Mac sandwich. And with this example, we can see how real world economics works as, a, as in terms of cost of living. For example, it takes a worker an average of 12 minutes in Chicago to earn a Big Mac sandwich. In LA, 11 minutes. In Tokyo, 10 minutes. In Shanghai, China, about 30 minutes. In Budapest, 59 minutes. In Cairo, Egypt, 82 minutes. Nairobi, 
158 minutes. So you can see there that when we put it in perspective of the average worker's salary compared to earning a Big Mac, uh, the numbers changed significantly and uh, we're able to calculate then um, how real world uh, economy and jobs translate into purchasing everyday goods and services. On a side note, uh, most McDonald's in China have a McCafe, and the McCafe is uh, something that uh, was introduced, I guess, around two, two and a half years ago in China. The promotional uh, renovation of McDonald's occurred because the profit margins on coffee and cheesecakes and muffins and other baked goods um, are high enough where they can introduce this to the Chinese market. And uh, in every inside of every McDonald's that I have seen, there is a McCafe and a barista or two that are behind the counter selling it separate from the other menu item items. So, bon appetit, Big Mac combo in China.